Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the final review for Wednesday the 18th of December. This is Barry Fear here and thanks for joining us here in the studio for the last time this year for our regular match. Um, summer reps will be kicking off with Alana and myself here in the studio and we've got a couple of weeks of summer fun reps to bring you and today we had the final vision tips review which has now been completed and the Crumb Fish and Chips, guys, $10.50 from the old fashioned fish and chip shop on the corner of Mac Macintosh Road and Alfred Street in Narawena. So if you're in your car, grab yourself some fish and chips now and talk to the friendly staff there. And now here with her opening quote on the fish and chips. Good afternoon, Alana. Good afternoon, Barry. Um, yeah, Barry had a delicious fish and chips today, didn't you? Yeah, we sure I sure did and the fish was nice, it was crumbed, not oily, and the chips were nicely cut, thick and well. So it was really great. Here's my outsider. Yeah, you really, it smelled delicious actually. Um, and Barry seemed to be really enjoying it, weren't you, Barry? I was. And um, if you'd like some fish, fish and chips now, it's the time to do it because the fish and chip shop will not be open again until. January the 6th, so they will be shut for Christmas. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's right, they are shutting down over Chrissy. I didn't know they were shutting today, so the last day. No, on Saturday. Okay, well there you go guys. So if you want some fish and chips, you've only got the rest of today tomorrow and Friday and Saturday to do it. Here's my, here's my offside. Now you guys better get in quick, otherwise you're going to miss out on the delicious fish and chips. And we might be doing another review next year. Who knows? Who knows? Well, I went along to the doctors today today and then he referred me to a plastic surgeon. Now you can't actually see what's on my face but I have a bit of skin cancer on my face. So don't be alarmed about it. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's right. Barry went to the doctor today and yeah, he's got a bit of skin cancer on his face. Um, and yeah, he's going to be referred to plastic surgeon. So hopefully they just get it all out, no problem. And yeah, hopefully it's all good. So the next subject, which is coming up now or soon on the show, is about sun protection. We, sp we speak about that regularly here on the show. Here's my offside. We do, and as you can see, Barry's got a bit of sunscreen on. I put some SPF 50 on. We went out to the shops just so it wouldn't make his little skin cancer any worse and um, would just prevent any more from getting on his face or his arms. Isn't that right, Barry? Yeah, because like, it's not like the doctor can just say, uh, okay, we're going to take it out because it's not that simple. Here's my offside. 
Yeah, that's right, Barry. Um, it's yeah, it's a uh, a bit more of a complicated sort of surgery, I guess, because you know it's on his face, so they want to make sure the scar is okay, I guess, and they leave it. So, yeah. So so we've still got a bad bit to go on with them because with only forty minutes to go on this last show we want to get as much in as we possibly can. Well on Sunday we went to Channel 10 to see the project and it was great. Here's my offside. Yeah it was amazing. Barry and I really liked it didn't we Barry? And we're going back for another visit next year is my offside. Yeah, that's exactly right. Barry and I am I'm very keen to go back, can't we go? So February the 9th, I think, will be the first show back. Is my offside. Yeah, it was something like that, February 9th. Um, and yeah, I'll be here and, you know, Barry and I will be keen to go back. And the show where in the studio where the um, show was taped, it was a former Ready Steady cook set. Here's my upside. Yeah, I can't believe that. Um, I always thought the Ready Steady cook studio was a lot bigger than that. Did you, Barry? I, I didn't. So, I was, a lot of shows not a lot of shows and done it ten. Ten. Okay? So the project will be moving their production to Melbourne before Christmas. Is my offside. Yeah, that's right, isn't it, Barry? Yeah, it is. Yeah. They're not filming anymore until or at Sydney until next year, but they're doing the Melbourne ones, the Melbourne shows in Melbourne. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Well, we've had a fabulous year bringing the show to you and here's my offside. Yeah, we have. Mary and I have um, had a lot of fun together, lots of adventures. Um, and yeah, we're excited for next year and there'll be plenty more adventures, won't there be, Barry? Yeah, and um, I have a, well, we, Alana and I will be here uh, over the holidays to, to bring you some summer, summer fun. Here's my option. That's right, Barry. Uh, we will definitely still be uh, in the studio for the summer series, and yeah, I'm very excited for that. So, it's our final regular Wednesday wrap for the year, but the next wrap uh, wrap won't be until Wednesday the first of January, and that's when we kick off the new, the new year and the new decade with some wraps and the new. The, the year that has gone by, and even the decade, is my offside. Yeah, I'll be here on New Year's Day, so yeah, hop in and yeah, do the video. So, so, so we will say goodbye to the, the regular wraps for two weeks and then we'll be back on the 8th of January to bring you it all again and and uh, while I had Alana and I had you here a few things um, you need to know about sunset wear your hat wear your sunglasses and wear your zinc Here's my offside. 
Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, all of the above, as Barry mentioned. So, so skin cancer in Australia, guys, can be serious if not treated. Here's my upside. Yeah, that's right, and that's why Barry and I are going to get it treated. So I could, I could be off air for a while to recover. Depending on when it is, is my upside. Yeah, or depending on what, uh, when you have your surgery, and yeah, hopefully just be like a day surgery, just a few hours or something. Shouldn't be too bad. So. So what we'd like to finish our final wrap with, um, we're coming to the closing sequence now. Now, so here it is. If you are out in the community, guys, don't litter the streets. There are bins provided. Here's my offside. Oh, 100%. Couldn't agree more. Um, you can get arrested, I'm pretty sure, if you lit up. Isn't that right, Barry? I think it's a $275 fine for littering. Yeah. And remember, guys, please don't trespass on people's property. Here's my offside. Oh, 100%. Like, don't, that's, yeah, you would never do that. Or take um, bottles out of people's garbage bins. Because mm. who knows what, what germs are working in there. Is my offside. Yeah, I agree. Once we had this um, guy, I think I told Barry last week, he um going through our bins. We're going through the streets bins. Um, and yeah, it was pretty unhygienic. I think he was doing it to get the, uh, because you know, each bottle at the moment, if you recycle, it's 10 cents. I think he was trying to get that. I wonder if this one's a 10 cents. But yeah, um, not good. So guys, don't go around trespassing on other people's properties because there is closed Circuit television around these days. Here's my offside. What was that, Barry? Sorry, closed circuit television. What does that mean? Surveillance or? Surveillance, yeah. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, nowadays it's like not hard to get caught. I mean, I took, I literally got my camera and took a photo of him. So um, I have evidence that he was going through the bins. So. Yeah, it's uh, pretty silly in this day and age to think that you're not going to get caught doing the wrong thing. But unfortunately, guys, some people do do that. Here's my offside. Yeah, unfortunately, people do try and do that, but most of the time they get caught, which is good. Well, we've had a fabulous couple of months bringing the raps to you and, and getting out and about and and we look forward to your company during the holidays but from the regular raps that's it we hope that you have a very merry Christmas and a safe new year thanks for joining Alana and I on the regular wraps this year and uh, we hope to bring a bigger and better program to you in 2020. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's exactly right, Barry. Um, we're very excited for uh, 2020 and what that brings. So we'll be going over uh, the year gone by and and um, before we go, if you want plenty to drink and drive, don't drink because what can happen, we say this, 
see you regularly on the show. If you drink and drive, and bang, and kabang, 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 kabang. That's my favorite. What's the other one? Smash? Smash. Yeah, love it. Love it. And make sure that you have enough money to get a cab home. Here's my offside. Yeah, I mean, last week we, we didn't have the money, so luckily Barry had a nice housemate that lent us some. So, yeah, always just make sure, you know, you've got the cash and, you know, sometimes situation you don't have it and that's, you know, one of those things. But, yeah, it is good. And to always, ask the driver to stop the meter at the end of your journey. Yeah. Here's my offside. Yeah, 100%. Like, they should do that regardless, but I guess reminding them to do it is good. Well, uh, another thing we'd like to conclude with, guys, please don't bring triple zero unless you have an emergency. We know it's a boring subject, but guys, there are a lot of bushfires happening at the moment, so please keep that number free for when you do have an emergency. Please don't tie triple zero up. Here's my offside. Yeah, only if it's an emergency, guys. Um, not just, like Barry said, to order pizza or to be silly, like... You know, that's someone's life that you could be risking by being irresponsible. Or if you've got an ingrown toenail. Yeah. Please don't do that. Yeah. Because my offside could be having a severe case of asthma or I could be having trouble breathing, anything. Yeah. So only ring triple zero in an emergency guys and just a reminder guys tomorrow it's going to be really hot so keep up your fluids stay in the shade don't don't do anything strenuous like gardening do it when it becomes cool down the day has cooled down don't take your anger out on anybody off for no reason. Here's my offside. Yeah, I completely agree, Barry. Um, yeah, no need to take your anger out on other people. Um, yeah. And if you feel like you're dehydrated, drink some cordial, try to drink some, some water. And if you are at home, and uh, go around barefoot, where you feed out, is my offside. That's a good tip, Barry. So do you like to go around barefoot when you're at home, or? I might do that after this video. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, um, maybe even tonight, maybe when it's really nice and cool, after you had a shower. That way you're all fresh. Uh, so, if you're not going out, guys, air your feet as much as possible. Keep them cool. Is my offside. Yeah, I completely agree, Barry. It's been a fabulous few months. Alana, thanks for it. Um, been with me on the Wednesday wrap. We had lots of fun. Oh, my pleasure, Barry. We've had so much fun. I always look forward to my Wednesdays with Barry. We always do something exciting, don't we? And the Tuesday wrap too. Mm -hmm. So they'll be kicking off on the 7th of December. We'll be talking about the new year. The new decade and ideas for school lunches for the new school year and decade 
So that's all coming up on the 7th of January when we reopen at St. Tides Cash. But from me, that's it from Alana and I, from our regular Wednesday wrap. Alana will be here on Monday, the 30th of December. We'll be back with you and bring you the New Year's Eve preview and what's coming up and then again on the 31st of December to, to, plan, to plan how you're going to get around. So that's all coming up in my offside. Yeah, I was asking Barry what his plans are for New Year's Eve because I'm going to be here in accommodation. So, 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 remember if you are going out on New Year's Eve, guys, please leave the car at home, take public transport, have your open car, check the weather forecast, Take comfortable clothing, take a picnic, dinner with you in a blanket and get a good vantage point for the nine o'clock or midnight fireworks. Here's my offside. Yeah, that sounds interesting, Barry. And we're going to hear the garbage out there. Well, that's it from Alana and I for 2019. On behalf of Alana and myself, we thank you for watching and we do look forward to your company on the first rap, which will be on the 7th of January. So don't miss out on that. Watch. The wrap next Monday leading into the new year. We want to take our 2019 with a bang. Because now <laughs> we're going to end 2019 with a big bang on the 30th and 31st. So two great big shows coming up with us. Here in the studio, we look forward to your company then. But that's all from Alana and I. And here she is to say thank you for watching and Merry Christmas. Thanks, guys, for watching and Merry Christmas and a safe new year. And thanks to the project at Channel 10. Thanks to Wheelchair accessible taxis for their help throughout the year and then here's my offside to thank them also yeah thank you guys thanks for making our days possible and thanks for transporting us to and from our venues we look forward to your company again next year so from Alan and Wilson and Barry Fair, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Great, good day. So bye-bye from the last Wednesday wrap. See you later, guys, and Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 everybody. Bye-bye.